and hello guys welcome back to another video on my channel and today i'm gonna show you how you can use the warning ui upgraded edition in your game so if you have followed my previous tutorial but there's one problem uh, players can click accept even though they haven't really read the rules or the warning you ha you made for them they can maybe accidentally click it and you don't want that maybe they just clicked it accidentally or declined it accidentally accidentally so today i'm going to be showing you how you can add it and i especially got this idea because uh slash woke um sorry I, i'm so sorry if i spelled that wrong uh but she said she was using it for her rules in her game um to not bully uh, etc so uh, i thought i could upgrade this that i gave in the last tutorial so uh go into the description and uh, get the model you go here to view and make sure that your toolbox is open as well as explorer and properties so then you go here to inventory over here, press this and um, find the model you got. It's called warning underscore upgraded and you want to insert it. It's okay. It has that one script. And so now that you have it, it should be in your workspace in your explorer. And what you want to do is just casually drag it over here into starter GUI. And it just appeared on my screen and it says the same it says the same thing but you will notice a few different things uh, uh you have this i agree box and this the only single continue button so basically i have changed it so that you have to click i agree before uh going to continue and uh, all you want to do so if you want to change the text i'm pretty sure you want you want to open this UI, go to background. Uh, you want to go here to um, this. I uh, you can change the warning. This is basically this red text. Go into Explorer. Uh, sorry, properties. Go into properties and change the text. It says warning. Or you can maybe change like um, rules or something like that. Now it says rules. You can also change the description. You must. You must not bully bully others or you will get banned so basically something like that you put your rules so you can change them by going description and warnings these two you want to change this text i agree uh, you don't really want to change it it just says i agree you have to take it you have to take this i agree now, um, so in the script, you don't. Uh, I just want to show you in the script what you might want to change. So these lines basically prevent the player from either moving or jumping. So basically, the player until the player um, clicks "I agree" and continue, the player won't be able to move. And here, the, this is the tick script. Uh, this is changing the color of the continue button you'll see later you might you i think it's okay but you can change it if you want basically that's it as soon as you change the text you're good to go you click play uh, yeah, again again uh, you can go here to view and you can disable the ui visibility and then you can play so we will see again rules you must not bully others or you will get banned that's your custom text and you know this is supposed to be like a warning but i just changed it so, to show you how it how you can change it as well so see you have this button called continue where it says continue and i'm clicking it currently um and it does nothing literally nothing also i can't jump or move which is what we wanted works completely good i'm clicking continue does not disappear but look at this i click this box and boom already works perfectly so as soon as you click it ticks and also it changes the button color see how it's gray now it's not because i have ticked i agree if i untick it it you can't click it and if i again tick the i agree i can click continue and it disappeared also i want to show you it works i'm gonna reset my character and if i respawn it's not gonna be on my screen um so it works as it should work and that is it for this short tutorial. I hope this helped you, this little upgrade. I hope that this little upgrade helped you. And I'll see you again in another video.